Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with the second episode of Series 3, Computer Tycoon. And my company, which I have called Phoenix, which is based in the most glorious of locations, yeah, the Bahamas, which is an ideal location to start manufacturing computers for the whole of the world. Well, it, it makes sense in the game because the game is kind of random in sense of the country layout and population and wealth and stuff. So, yeah, if you saw episode one, it did kind of make sense. Anyway, before we get into the actual gameplay, uh, just one little thing I'd like to sort of uh, go back to, which we touched upon in the first episode, but we couldn't do because we hadn't started a game. And that was, if I go up here to the settings, into the options, these graphical choices here. You can only set those once you're actually in the game. So, and they actually adjust. I don't know if I can put this where it makes sense. The menu scale multiplier allows you to change the size of the menu windows, the UI. So again, depending on the resolution of your screen, the size of your monitor and so on, you can adjust these to fit perfectly within your screen and get out of the way of any of the important stuff you want to keep an eye on. And the window scale multiplier, whoa, that deals with the individual windows back here, for example. <laughs> so if we come out of there, uh, what other window can I go into? It doesn't affect uh, research, does it? I suppose. No, it is. It is just these these sort of front windows here. It affects the size of those. If I make that bigger, whoa, or tiny. That looks about right to me. I think. Yeah. Um, so that's the the basic multiplier effect there. So again, it's just a nice option to allow you to uh, manage the look of the game on your particular setup. Anyway, where are we? Uh, let's get back to the world. Actually, let's, let's go to the stats screen, for example. Uh, I have been selling quite a nice number of computers. As you can see up here, my demand, my DPP, uh, is just over my production power, my PP, as it were. Um, if I actually go into my home country, uh, which was the Bahamas, the Bahamas, where's that? It's down here somewhere. Actually, if I just go to sites, that's me, double click that. Uh, where's my factory? Oh, I'm not producing a full output. If I do that and then get the game running, uh, I am now producing more than I am selling, as you can see there, which is no big problem. Uh, why is it not incrementing? Well, the days going, well, the days are going up. Oh, that number isn't changing much. That's all. Um, in in the sense that I am accruing, there should actually be. Well, that's interesting because there should be an SPP, which is the stockpile. But I have a feeling that may be linked. That is linked, I think, to the the logistics offices. So if I don't have a logistics office, which is how I can control the number of countries I. Uh, distribute and sell into without without a logistics office I can't build a stockpile of points so having my production that much greater than my demand is wasteful at this point so if I reduce that again a little bit there we are that's about right okay let's just want to pause that though before we go any further as we see if I go back to the stats I've been selling quite nicely. I've been making money, four grand, uh, nearly five grand every day uh, is, is a nice profit to make. However, when we compare that to the other com the other companies, uh, they're these little dots you might just be able to make out here on the right hand side of this graph. But more importantly, on this pie chart, I'm the little green sliver in the middle. <laughs> I have a very small share. In fact, it says at the top here, just over one percent of the global market sales and that's kind of hinted at by the fact that there's only one green country on the map and all the other computer companies have multiple countries under their belt i have a feeling they're playing with an advantage because some of these countries are very expensive so what do i need to do i need to expand into another country 
and also I want to get uh, my first toe in the water, as it were, in terms of research. So I want to actually expand into a rich country, which is uh, cheaper to do research in. Now, one of the things that this game, the latest update to this game, has changed is the costs of both research and expansion into other markets, into other countries. So, for example, if we go into here, the market list, now let's get that out of the way, go into new, and actually let's look at our opponent filter. Uh, that, that does... No, it's market, that's what I want, I think. Yeah, so here we are. So by selecting opponent filter, it only lists those countries which, uh, which have a market or have bought rights into the market of these particular countries. So I've bought rights into the Bahamas, uh, this guy here, uh, whichever country you are, that dark browny red colour, you have bought into uh, presumably Eritrea and Ethiopia. But one of the changes the latest update has made is that if you are the second, third, fourth, if you're, if you're following another company into a market, the cost of entry into that market will be cheaper. So, for example, uh, Yellow Company here has bought access into the United Kingdom, and the brownie ready colour here has bought access into Kenya, or Kenya, which is the correct way of pronouncing it these days. I think it did. Ch I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put up a little. Uh, in-screen image here of what the costs of those two countries were when I started the game, when nobody else had access to those countries, nobody else had bought rights. If someone else has bought rights, they pay a premium to be the first company to sell into that market. But other companies that try and move in pay less, substantially less. So the costs here for the United Kingdom and for Kenya, as you can see, comparing these costs here against that in-screen image, are significantly less. So it is now worth actually following another company into a country and try and steal the market off them, and also get access at a cheaper price. Of course, the downside of that is you are competing directly against them, so you must have a advantage in some sense over them otherwise you're simply wasting your money anyway even if it is cheaper to follow them in rather than buying the first rights to a country uh, if you can't outsell them then there's no point you need to be able to sell some of your computers in that country now I'm looking for a rich country so if I go rich or filthy rich so oh no no I can't afford either of these. I've got just over three million in the bank and I need to a buy access to the to that market and also build a site on which I want to put my research lab. I can't afford either of those. That is so frustrating. Darn. Uh, average. Uh, actually, if we sort this by cost, uh, if we turn that down that way. Okay. So I might get away with a two million. So that's Germany or Ghana. They're very nice populations as well. Uh, so, I'm um, no, but I want to get the bonus for the research. I want to get my research cheaper, so I don't want an average country. I do really want rich. So, I looks like I'm going to have to go it alone on there. We'll get rid of the opponent filter for now. We don't need that. Does it actually tell me? Oh, it does tell me the colour anyway if they're in there. So, uh, okay, let's turn the cost sorting the other way up. So what can I afford? Somewhere in this sort of range. Well, I don't want average anymore. Get those off the list. So what are we looking at? Uh, Haiti? <laughs> I could sell into another rich small island. Yeah, these... Look, see, I'm paying such a premium for being first into these countries, even with those small populations. This is frustrating. This really is frustrating to me because I want to go somewhere where I'm going to get the bonus of the rich but I'm still going to have markets to sell into a sufficient number of customers, potential customers. So Nicaragua's an interesting one. Could do that. 
But okay, so let's look at what my computers uh, look like compared to the competition. So if we turn all these guys on, if you'll pardon that phrase once again. Oh, now look, man, again, this is different to what it was in the previous version of the game on the last series of Computer Tycoon. The competition is building new computers. Yeah, I think last time around they built one computer and then sold that for the rest of their, their natural lives. So I out outsold them without any effort whatsoever. But look at their sales numbers. They're so much better than mine because they're selling into more countries. Okay, what? Uh, where do I have the advantage? Uh, I think I have it in quality. Uh, yep, yeah, I definitely have it in quality except over... The yellow company really so I have an advantage I'm not quite sure why what's that line doing there is that that line there does that mean anything or is that just a graphical thing no not sure uh, okay uh, anything else I do particularly well uh, feature the feature no I'm very middling in the feature set the prestige how am I doing with that uh, again, kind of middling. Ease of use. Uh, if I click it, click it. There you go. Down the other way. Again, middling. It really is quality. So I want to sell into a country that uh, appreciates the quality of their computers. So let's go back here. Can I make a decision? Good question. Okay, so all of these. So what was I, what was I looking at? Nicaragua, wasn't it? There we go. They're not great. They're not too concerned about quality, really. Belgium is. Uh, I could, yeah, possibly. Okay, who's that average country then that I can afford to go into? Republic of China. Ooh, okay, that's not many people. Well, they like quality, though. Who am I against? Yeah, that's okay. You see, there's a lot of things to consider now. Um, it is a much more a strategy game of planning where you can best take advantage uh, over your opponents here. And it's not just you spending money to, to make more money, which is kind of what the game was previously to a, to a large extent, certainly on the easier modes. And as, as we said in the last episode, I'm playing on hard for the very first time. <laughs> I generally don't play games at hard because I'm usually not that good at them. Uh, Ghana. No. Uh, again, that bit. Uh, mm. I like that market, though. That's the thing. Shall I be bold and try and go into Ghana? That's two million. Or I could... The trouble is with Nicaragua, it's not a great population. <laughs> I am so tempted to go to Nicaragua. Make a decision. Right, done it. I'm going to go into Nicaragua. I'm going to buy that license. Yeah, I get the discount because my, my particular bonus in the game settings was logistics. So I, I say have some saving on that cost. Actually, would that apply to, say, Ghana? It does. Now, where was the other one? Germany. So how much would that cost me? Once... Mm. They're not too concerned about quality, though. I could do that. That's a lovely big market. If I can sell into that market, I need to upgrade my factory as well to meet that demand. No. Oh, the, the choice is to make that. Okay, Ghana, I've done it. I've made a choice. Right. Whoops, sites. Uh, there we go. So, Ghana. Establish a site. That's 1.3 million. I can just about afford that. Got it. Okay. Now, if I build a research lab here, I get no bonus here. It's going to cost me the full rate of 20, 20 grand a day. But I can reduce the, the spend on that using the budget here. 
Okay, it's going to cost me a hundred grand. Done it. Okay. I'd better not live to regret this. As I said, this could... Oh, I'm making lots more money, though. Oh, but my... Yeah, my factory is being outstripped. So I need to bring that up to full production. Okay, what are we doing in Ghana? That's coming up. I do want to reduce the cost on that as much as I can. Which means I'll get very little research out of it, but it's something at least. Which is what I want to do. I want to get, as I said, get that toe in the water. Nearly finished building. Your building upgrade has completed. Okay, how much Your can research I... queue is empty. I know, I know. Right, let's have a look at that then, the research queue. Okay, now, what do I want to research? Actually, if I go back, where is Ghana? That's Ghana there. They're interested in uh, performance and ease of use. So if I can focus my research on performance and ease of use benefits, uh, or VLSI, that takes, that's going to take a lot though. Dip memory, that's going to, well that's going to add performance. Well I've already got dip memory, <laughs> silly boy. Uh, yeah, all these will take quite some time. Uh, what else? Anything else going to improve my performance? Uh, teletype, no, that won't. What about... No, the accessories won't particularly. Nor will the fans or the heat sink. The tape drive's in... Oh, the tape drive will, and it will add features. So that might be worth doing. It's going to take a long time, though. Okay, well, let's, let's start it. We'll get something anyway. So we'll go to tape drive. We'll add that into the research queue. That will keep my assistant happy. Meanwhile, let's go back to the Bahamas. How much is the logistics office going to cost me? 20 grand, and it costs me a grand a day. I could do that. Or I could... The factory, no, that will cost, that, no, remember I'll get 50% discount on that. So I could, no, I want to build a logistics office, I think, to start with. Or do I want an office office? Because that will give me a 10% discount as well on everything else I build here. Yeah, let's go office. Let's go office. Oh, my sales are going up. 1.37% of the global market. <laughs> Your building upgrade has completed. Uh, which one's that? Oh, that's, that's the office, isn't it? So my cost should have gone down there. In the Bahamas. Here we are. Let's go there. Yeah, so my factory now costs 10% less. You don't have less. enough manufacturing capacity. Yes, I realised that. Thank you very much. Uh... If actually what I could do is if I go to Ghana I don't get a discount on the cost of the factory but I could build it 20, 25 grand a day okay let's do that am I being reckless here I hope not <laughs> really do hope not your building upgrade has completed so she has finished that <laughs> it has finished I am producing far more than I'm selling, and as you can see, that takes me into the negative. So if I reduce that, reduce the budget for that, take that right down. Again, I don't want to be producing that much more than I'm selling. Oh dear. Oh, oh no, we are making some money. Oh, that's better. Good. Good. And we are producing slightly more. Excellent. Good. Right. So, if I go back to the Bahamas, I've got the office now. So, if I build a logistics department, that costs... That's daily cost of 900. I can afford that. Now, that means I can stockpile my points, my production power. 
So if I overproduce, uh, I can then use that to supply any excess demand for my next computer. I'm still making a good amount of profit. So does that mean I can increase my research by a little bit? Okay, I do. I still want a fair amount of money each day in profit. Your building upgrade has completed. That's good. I've now got two logistics points, which means I can expand into two more countries or one very large country, except for the fact that I don't actually have any money in the bank. And at the moment, the game doesn't have any loans. You have to make money to keep going. Oh, and I'm overproducing again. Let's take that down. And as you can see here, the stockpile, the SPP, is gradually increasing. It'll go up to a maximum of one million, and that's because I've just got the one logistics office uh, in the Bahamas. And how's the uh, tape drive research going? Very, very slowly. Okay. <laughs> uh, the question is, could I build... An... I can't really build another computer because I haven't got any new technology. I could by tweaking some of the hardware options. Like, for example, on um, the CPU, I could increase the clock speed, for example, which should give me better performance, but that will mean I spend money on doing that. Uh, and I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, let's come out of there and let's keep an eye on the world. Still making money. Excellent. Overproducing over slightly, but that's not a big deal. We're, we're racking up stockpile. And look at these. These these my competitors must have some sort of cheat going on. Really. I, I mean, if I look at the countries, let, who's the orange company? Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Let's just Slow this down a little bit so I don't get too lost. So if we go into market and just look at uh, who's the orange company? There you are. How much did they pay to get into those countries? Honestly, they, they've been cheating. They've had more money to start with. They've obviously had a rich granddaddy who's given them money for nothing. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. No, oh, I'm losing money again. Can't be doing with that. Can't be doing with that. And me. And let's go to the bar. Uh, what am I looking at? Site. Why am I not on that list? Oh, get rid of you. There we go. Uh, the Bahamas. Let's get that down again. Or is it the one in the uh, in Ghana? Actually, let's uh, take you down a touch. Or I could drop the price of my computer. Actually, that's the other way of dealing with it because they're selling theirs at ridiculously inflated prices. So actually, let's turn all these guys off. So uh, I just got uh, who have I got in view? The green? That's me. The blue guy. There you go. All right. So if I, oh yeah, off camera, I did put the price up slightly from 2,900 and something. So if I take this down back to 2,999, okay, will that improve things? If I get the game running? Yes, it will. Good. Oh, demand has gone up quite a lot, actually. Oh, excellent. Right. Why didn't I do that before? Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that, that's uh, no big surprise to anybody, I think. Okay, uh, SPP, our stockpile is going down there, as you can see. So let's get both our factories producing a bit more. To try and keep up. Ooh, 17 and a half grand in profit. Ooh, why didn't I? Wow. <laughs> oh, and we're doing, doing quite well here. Yeah, good keep growing there we go yeah the trouble is because this factory is cost actually if I put an office in here 
in Ghana. That could reduce my factory costs in, in Ghana as well. That might be good. Did I do that? I did. There it is. It's coming up. Splendid. That'll give me a 10% discount on the cost of the factory, which would be nice considering it is quite an expensive, uh, quite an expensive building. Your building upgrade right, so there, has completed. Yeah, I've got the office, so I get a 10% discount on that, which is cool. Yeah, I'm still making some money, which is handy. Right, can I sell into another country? What I suppose I would like to have is a rich country. Uh, Go, which doesn't cost me too much money and all I, I'm not going to build a site there just yet I just want a uh, a country which will buy computers from me so how much can I afford and no, not not four million no uh, less than a million half a million there are thereabouts Cape for oh Lesotho That cost me half a million. Go for it. Okay. Now they're filthy rich there, by and large, so they should. So they should be happy to pay full price for my computers. Oh, and 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 they like uh, and they like quality to some extent, which is good. Let me go back to the world map. Yay! Another green country. Yep, yeah, the Ghana isn't showing green. Where is Ghana? Where? Where? Oh, there's Ghana. Oh, oh, Ghana is green, is it? Oh, I didn't expect that. Well, that means I am outselling whoever was there before. Oh, that's really impressive. Good. Um, who? Who was there? Uh. That's dominancy. Who, what's the area of mode? Area of, that's mine. Uh, who was it? Was it the green company? No, well, I'm the green company. Oh yeah, it's the, um, who is that? Dator Systems. Well, that is really good. Wow, and the Soto is somewhere down here. That's it. Am I not selling anything in the Soto? Really? 2% of the market? I've doubled my percentage of the marketplace. Yay! <laughs> oh, okay, this, this is looking a lot healthier. I am overproducing again. Why are people in the, the Soto not buying my computers? So I have definitely. Uh, yeah, that is definitely one of my marketplaces. So, uh, capacity. Quality is something they like. This is very strange. Perhaps they don't like uh, the type of computer I am selling. So the Soto um, gamers and casuals are the predominant uh, buyers in that market. So here, so gamers here, it says, uh, they said there's too much text here. Workers, cheapskates will look for Workers tend to check, the gamers tend to be more interested in CPUs, graphics and memory, especially performance and capacity. Uh, casuals will just buy whatever. Ah, interesting. I'm not top dog there. Now that is curious. Oh, no. There we are. It took a while, but I am... Oh, I mean, that's the area of, isn't it? Oh, no, it's showing me now. Good. Kind of. Oh, uh, it's a little graphical glitch by the look of it, I think. Right, if I go though to the stats page and say customers, oh, okay, so the Soto isn't showing there at all. It is slightly disappointing. Uh, my tape drive research is going to be ooh, years away. But uh, okay, let's. I need to reduce uh, capacity in the factory again. We'll do that in Ghana. 
take you down because you are our most expensive factory. There you go, that's almost bang on. Cool. Right, where are... Oh, we turned over into a new year. I didn't notice that. Good grief. <laughs> right, so, yes. Let's have a look then. Uh, so, last year, our first year of operation, we made a loss of uh, nearly 8 million. Yeah, not a great start, but hey, we had to spend that. We had to spend that. Our sales. Ooh, 9,000? 9, really? Have we sold that many of our computers? No, we haven't. We, I'm not entirely sure what that number means then on that sales graph. But yep, yeah, that's fine. Obviously, we're only a quarter of the way through the year in 75, so we're a bit less than that here. Customers. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is for the last year, which is why it doesn't show Lesotho there. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, and my countries don't appear anywhere in that list. Uh, market share. Okay, well, actually, I'm everyone outsold me a lot in the first year. But it looks like they've all suffered as well this year. So if I can keep up, if I can maintain that kind of distance and improve on that, I should do okay next year. Uh, oh, this is interesting. In the previous version of the game, I never saw these lines differ. So it looks like things are happening. Here. And that again, that was one of the things that was mentioned in the release notes for this latest update to the game, is people's preference will change over time. Not rapidly. It's not going to be like an Amazon price list, which changes on an hourly basis, almost. Um, it will be a more gradual thing than that. and People will, will change their preferences for what they want of your computers over a number of years, presumably. I've not seen it yet, obviously, because I've only been working for a year and a half. Um, but well, less than that. Uh, but that's one of the nice new features of the game as well. Things change in a logical and more rational fashion. Um, uh, quality, yeah, not a big deal. My market preference, capacity. Oh, okay. Right, interesting. Right, well, you know what? Uh, we're running to a fairly reasonable length here. I'm still in business, which is quite impressive, <laughs> considering the competition has so much more of the world than I do. Uh, that that is kind of embarrassing. I'm a little. That does kind of show up a light green in there. Like maybe I don't know what. Mm, okay. Um, oh, for some reason, for, for a nasty second there, I thought that brown stain was my Bahamas, but it's not. It's Cuba. Right. So nobody else has beaten me in my own home base. Right. So there we are. I think we'll finish that there. If you've enjoyed this episode, uh, give us a like. That'd be very much appreciated. A little bit of the old thumbs up. Even better if you've got any thoughts. Uh, comments, uh, particularly suggestions, recommendations, hints and tips. If you're more familiar with playing the game at these uh, slightly harder difficulty levels, they'd be very grateful <laughs> for any advice you can you can offer me. Maybe I'm going into research too soon, I don't know, but I, I think I've always played it this way. I need to have something going, I need to make some improvements uh, over the lifetime of my computers. But any, any thoughts you may have would be greatly appreciated. Just drop a note into the comments box below. But other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, then uh, you can still do that. And it will be lovely to have you along for the ride. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you again very soon. But until then, from Ajax Post here in Computer Tycoon, bye bye for now.